Controller Express is a software wizard that exists within Robot Mesh Studio for programming and customizing the VEX controller so that you can make your robot move in a way that suits you best. This tool can be used to generate Python code that we can later copy and edit in other projects. The workflow is identical for both the VEX V5 smart controller as well as the VEX IQ controller. Let's see how this is done. All right, so here in Robot Mesh Studio, I'm gonna create a new project, and my target platform is gonna be VEX V5. The language I'm using is Controller Express. This is the software wizard we're gonna be using to customize the controller. And under options here, I might give this a better name. So for example, I might call this Custom Controller, and hit Create. Now when I open the project here for the first time, we can see that the device monitor pre-populated with the robot's motors and peripheral devices. And that happens to be because I happen to have my robot already turned on and plugged into my computer. If this was not the case that these uh, peripheral devices showed up, I could have clicked on the detect sensors button uh, to manually refresh this screen. I'm gonna hit the connect button here and try and figure out what each of these motors is controlling on my robot. So let's hit connect. And I'm gonna adjust the slider. And I can see that by playing with a slider that this happens to be my right motor and that as the motor spins forward, it's actually going in reverse on the physical robot. And that's because I have to reverse my motor polarity. So let's disconnect. I go into settings here and I change my motor polarity by clicking on reverse polarity. And let's give this a better name. I'm going to call this motor right. I happen to know from playing with this previously that this is my claw. On port 8 I have the motor controlling my arm and then I have my left motor on 10. Okay, so we're all set up and ready to rock and roll. Here on the left-hand side of the screen, I have a picture of the VEX V5 smart controller. We can see that there are uh, labels for the various buttons. And what's of interest to us right now are the two joysticks. We can notice that there are these channel numbers. So I have a three and a four, a one and a two. This means that on the left joystick, I can control uh, the robot's drivetrain or movement along the y-axis. So here, if I move the joystick up and down, I will be using channel three. And if I move the joystick left and right, I will be using channel four. Let's go over here to axis three and see what our options are for this channel. I'm gonna go and add action. And this is a subject of much contention and debate. I've seen lots of bloodshed on the VEX forums about what is the best way to control your robot, with some arguing quite passionately for linear control, or what we would call tank control, and others arguing for arcade control. I'm gonna take a second here to discuss the difference. Linear control uh, essentially means that we'll be taking the left joystick and controlling the left motor using that joystick, and the right joystick will control the right motor. This stands in contrast to uh, arcade drive, which allows us to use a single joystick to move in all directions. So it's very similar to how we might play a video game where we can move along the y-axis, the x-axis, or we can uh, spin the joystick around and control its, uh, the rotation of the uh, character in the video game or the robot in real life. I happen to personally like linear control or tank control best. Um, know, however, that this is really an issue of personal preference. So I'm gonna choose linear control. For motor, I am going to have my left joystick control the left motor. On the right joystick here on channel two, I am going to control my right motor. And then what I will also probably wanna set at this time are the buttons for controlling my claw and my arm. So it might be a little difficult to see on this picture, but there's actually a label here for L1 and L2 and R1 and R2 uh, that are etched. These labels are etched into the top leftmost and top rightmost buttons. So let's set this so that my uh, top left buttons control the opening and closing of my claw. So for button um, L1, I'm gonna set this in reverse, and I'm gonna control my claw. Now 100% power is quite high. I would be a little nervous at using this button at 100%. So let's dial this down a little bit to 25%, and that's just gonna 
prevent me from inadvertently um, stressing my motor being too hard on it. For L2, if L1 is going to open the motor in the reverse direction, so it's going to cause the claw to open, then L2 is going to spin forwards and it's going to cause the claw to close. So let's change this to claw and again set my power to 25%. For my R1 and R2 buttons, we're going to control the robot's arm. So let's go to R1 and set this to reverse. And here I will set the arm to 25% and the R2 button to forward at 25%. All right, so let's run this program and see what happens. I have my uh, V5 smart controller here, and we can see that my left joystick controls the movement of my left motor. The right joystick controls the movement of the right motor. The L1 and L2 buttons will control the opening and closing of my claw. And the R1 and R2 buttons will raise and lower my arm. With my joystick successfully mapped uh, to the robot, I can come up here to the generated code and we can actually see the Python that was produced as a result of going through that wizard. So now if I wanted to edit this Python, all I have to do is click on the options tab, copy the project, and change the project type from Vex V5 Controller Express to Vex V5 Python Project and hit OK. And now I have editable Python. So the process for setting up the VEX IQ controller is nearly the same. I'm going to come up here to new project. My target platform is going to be VEX IQ. The language is going to be controller express. However, there is one subtle difference. Let's create this project and take a peek. On the VEX IQ controller, the channels are using letters as names. So here we see channel A, B, C, and D. This contrasts to the VEX V5 smart controller, which is using numbers as channel names. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please consider pressing that like button and then subscribing to this YouTube channel for more updates on using Robot Mesh Studio with VEX robots.